The Aaron Let's Ring is surely pinching herself a day after that photo finish win at the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon. The Duluth native won the race by just seven seconds. It's the closest margin in Bear Grease history. KBJR 6's Natalie Grant followed the teams up the North Shore this week and this morning caught up with Let's Ring and race organizers to take a look back at that exciting ride. Wednesday morning next to the shores of Lake Superior, Bear Grease Marathon finishers gathered to celebrate and reminisce about their time on the trails. He takes off and I'm running behind him and you know, I kind of felt like I needed to pass. <laughs> Taking a look back on a two day race that in a year of uncertainty almost didn't happen. Everyone just came together this year to make it happen. And, and it's that is just the coolest feeling. And that's what's so great about this race. From kicking off with no spectators to making last minute changes to the trails due to a lack of snow, race organizers are happy to say that they pulled off a smooth race and an exciting finish. I have never been part of a race where it was just, it was a nail biter back and forth, watching those trackers move, hearing, you know, our trail team saying, oh, Ryan's in the lead, Sarah's in the lead, Aaron's in the lead. For first place finisher Aaron Let's Ring, who is the first woman to win this race in two decades, she's looking back on her first Bear Grease with a smile. To uh, be the champion of the Bear Grease, that's pretty exciting. It's starting to sink in, got the nap in the shower, some breakfast, and yeah, dogs are looking good, and it's, yeah, pretty good feeling. Let's Ring was one of the several racers from out of state who ran the Bear Grease for the first time. But after her win, she says it definitely won't be her last. These races in the Midwest here are great. You know, the Bear Grease, the UP 200, um, that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun to go and do those. So I think we'll, we'll stick with that and you should see us again next year. Organizers hope this year's exciting finish and fierce competition brings a new light to the 40-year-old race. The world knows about Bear Grease now and it's it's time for us to capitalize on that for northern Minnesota and we're just going to keep building on it. Now everyone is heading back home for the off months and looking forward to doing it all again next year. And we did also speak to 2020 champion and second place finisher Ryan Reddington following the close finish last night. He said he will be back next year and is looking forward to a rematch.